Uh, hey everybody, and I'm going to uh, show you guys how I draw an assassin kind of style hoodie from Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed games, or similar such hoodies because they use them in other like uh, movies I've seen, and they use them in uh, like Skyrim for mages hoodies. It's the kind where it goes over your head and that's like it comes down in the center like a spike. So uh, I'm gonna do some uh, basic like face in time lapse, and I'll come back. Okay, so right now, um, I've kind of drawn this basic kind of face. I realize the quality is kind of weird. Uh, this is my first ever Howard Draw video, so I'm just going to try to make this the best I can. I wish I had a better camera stand. But uh, either way, uh, whoops. <laughs> Here's just the basic face. I'm going to kind of draw the hood. Uh, I'm not going to claim to be the best at this ever. Um, but I'm going to try to do what I can. So, I'm going to make the hood come down to kind of like a point in the center and go up towards the shoulders. And the style I'm going to make is kind of like a V, like a wide V. Kind of like a 90 degree angle almost. Like if you're going to have to put the little 90 degree thing, you could. And so, I'd say if the. Well, about the half the length of the eye I would come out from the side of the head first because if there was a line right here like an imaginary line come out about that far and then um at the top I would start drawing the V before I actually connected it and uh this angle of the V would probably come down to like right at the brow right well right where the eyebrows would meet uh, so it's kind of curved and it goes kind of the edge of the eyebrows just draw the other side to make it, to make it even there. So yeah, it comes out like a little bit like that way. And then uh, some styles just kind of go straight up, but I don't like how that necessarily looks with the uh, material falls and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make a round over here, make it come up, and kind of curve in like this. Uh, it's kind of like if you're going to draw a peanut like this, most people draw like a peanut kind of like it. A weird looking eight. Um, it's kind of like that over here, but a lot less dramatic. So it'd just be like like that. So that's pretty much how I did over there. Uh, it's kind of a bad guideline because there's nothing really I could draw to make a good guideline for you. I'm sorry about that, but that's how it is. So I'm gonna go down like this. And kind of connect it again. So it's kind of the basic shape of that part. Another thing is up here, the hoods tend to be slightly pointed, but not really. So I'm going to come actually way like a little bit above the line of the head. There we go. Move my hand so you can see it better with the exposure of the camera. So there. Wow. See, it gets worse when I put my hand there. Um, yeah, I'll just do this. Put the line up here past the head. Um, so yeah, I'll just do that. And then it kind of comes, it's like kind of like a drop. It's not really like, yeah, it's kind of like an angle where it comes down to like over here to like right above this. It's still outside of the circle where the head is. And then it kind of does the same shape. It just kind of drops down. And it gets kind of thin compared to this. It actually goes further than this goes, and then it curves in further. So it's kind of like a, a droop. And we come into there. So you can do them on the opposite side. So if you really want a guideline, you can just draw like a line, an even line across, so you know where to do it again. So like I said, I'm going to go down like a droop. When I get there, I'm coming out, and then dropping down. It's almost like a, it's almost straight vertical down, right here, and then it kind of swoops out. So let's do it again. 
and it kind of just comes right right back into the same kind of thing. That looks okay, but there's like stuff here, and I'm gonna make this more like it is like an Assassin's Creed style, but I'm not gonna make it like all super like detailed with armor and spalders and stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hair in here. So there's that part of it. Um, now I'm going to just kind of like erase some of the guidelines. So that a lot of the guidelines are now erased right there. And uh, I'm going to do since it's probably not just wearing a plain hood, uh, it probably ha also has like clothes underneath. I'm going to for this neck curves. I'm going to draw the collar of like a shirt, like a regular shirt. But most people think it just goes like straight like a circle. So I like coming down here and kind of like doing that. Just how it rests. Just because, I mean, you could get like the hangings like no bent collar and stuff. But most people don't have stuff like that. So. And uh, some I learned from Mark Crilly. Is it always helps if you add an extra seam to things. So right here on the shirt I'm going to add another seam that helps define the shape of it, like that. I'm just going to draw some lines like this. It kind of helps with the whole curved collar thing of it. I'm going to draw some like necklines really quick. Okay, but now back to the hood part. Uh, like you do right here, but where it rests on the shoulders, you kind of, well, see, so has like a hood resting on the shoulders. First of all, it kind of comes up like this and then it drops back in just because that's how the folds work and right where it does that I like kind of come down here and another fold and over here you can do the same thing but it's not necessarily coming in because it doesn't always have to be even especially when it's just folds of clothes you can just kind of do like a bump and that comes back in like this and then it there's another separate bump let me see if I move my hand like that. If you can see that. And then back to the shoulder. So, it's kind of like that. And right here I'm going to, it's actually come a little bit further up. So you want to stay above the, where the arm, or where the shoulder is, because it's resting on the shoulder. It's not like attached. So where the shoulder is, um, it's kind of hard to show with the light being all weird. Try a little indent. Like I did. See, so yeah, I like a little V kind of shape over here, like a sideways V. And when I do that over here, it comes like the peak of the shoulder right where it bends. Little tiny like indent. And that's if because it's kind of a thick coat to show uh, kind of where the seam ends for the arm and where the, the torso piece. The torso piece and the seam of the arm connect. So I'm just gonna draw like a light line like this. Now if there's a hoodie uh, kind of style, if it was, then it'd be a lot. Let me just move my camera down a little bit. Okay, so it was a hoodie, kind of more like. There'd be a lot more folds and stuff like this. But I'm not going to really worry about those right now. So I'm going to move back up to that head. Um, I also noticed that a lot, like almost all the hoods, on Assassin's Creed they wear, they have this kind of line. It's more like a, so I draw two lines like this. It's kind of a pattern that's also kind of covering up a seam of a piece of cloth that was used to create this hood. It doesn't go straight up, it kind of curves, it kind of goes straight up at first and then it curves back with this head part. It kind of sells the whole look. Now, like I said, you get that there, and there's going to be a lot of shading. So, right now I'm going to uh, just add like a little seam, like right here. And don't add too many seams because then it looks weird. But you want to add just enough. Okay, so I want to actually see if I can time lapse this. And it's kind of dark right here, actually. So hold on. Just made the lines a little too thick. So I want to kind of come back in a second after I darken all these lines a lot because it looks dark to you. But I use the contrast setting on my uh, webcam so you can see it better. So we are back.
Okay, so let me kind of fiddle with my brightness setting a little bit so it would look better to you. Let's turn the contrast down. There, that's actually closer to what it really does look like in real life. So I'm just gonna darken up these eyebrows one last time. Now we've kind of moved on to the shading portion of this thing. So, of course, since this is a drop down, it kind of comes out. If the head was sideways, and this was the hood, if the head was sideways, like this was the nose, and this is the mouth, and stuff, and the chin, it would kind of go up and then come down like that. This is kind of like a mini tutorial on its own, I guess, right? It's kind of funny because. That's actually pretty much how it looks. It comes down to the chest now. There's that line again. And to the truth, there actually is kind of a, a seam as well. It kind of is round because that follow where the if there was no flap right there. It kind of follows where the hood would go. Like imagine if there wasn't a flap and he was wearing it. That's where the hood would kind of go above the head so I want to draw that there um now you could put like I'm gonna put kind of an Assassin's Creed symbol I guess it's kind of like a weird like an A don't put this in your video it's copyright infringement you're gonna get taken down I'm just gonna kind of I don't know like a bunch about Assassin's Creed, but I just kind of like like the way the style of it is. So that's kind of horrible. But the point is, it's kind of what it looks like. So now I'm going to move on to the shading. So there's going to be some shading under this the neck right here. I'm going to kind of do some light shading. That looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to actually zoom the camera in a second and show you better quality. But right here I'm going to, it's kind of where this meets. I'm going to draw the little straps. Because like I said, it's more of a modern style. It's like something Desmond would wear. If he got like full-fledged assassin. And don't spoil any like Assassin's Creed Revelation things if you guys have beaten it. Because I don't want to know until I beat it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of do this. Little strips that you can make whatever kind of style you want. But yeah, so, it's pretty much, you can like stop right there too, because it goes inside of the fabric. So let me zoom in, well let me get my camera back and zoom out all the way so I can move it up and get better quality. So there we go, that's uh, kind of how you do it right there. Um, if there's any questions that you guys have or anything, put it in the comments. Um, if you like this, then you can subscribe or like the video, and I would uh, greatly appreciate that, because then I could do more. I'd probably do more anyway, but, you know, it gives me more motivation. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. It's uh, I like when you guys watch. I mean, it's fun. So, more coming soon.